In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Telegram bot in Telegram and then connect it to make.com via these instant triggers. So every time you send a message to a channel with this bot, then it will automatically pick this up within make.com instantly. And I'm going to show you how to set up this simple authorization filter so that only channels that you want will have access to your automations. Once you understand how to set up the connection with Telegram, then you can check out the AI agent video on our main channel so you can set up an AI assistant that has access to external tools such as research tools, image tools, and lots more. So I've gone to Telegram, I'm gonna to go to contacts and you have to type in bot father. Then from there, type new bot. Sorry, I'll move this up a bit. Create new bot. What are you gonna call it? Just gonna call this test make integration bot. Not very inventive. After that, you have to choose a username. I'm just gonna copy and paste in the exact same thing. Oh, that's already taken. Test make integration to bot. Right, okay, that's done. Now you'll see that we have this HTTP API access token, which you should store safely and securely and not give that to anybody else. I will be deleting this bot after this video. So what to do is then go into your make.com account, type telegram, go to show more and go all the way down to watch updates. Now select add on the right hand side, you can add a new connection. So copy and paste in this API token into here, press save, and then just wait for that to run. Okay, it looks good. Press save, now I'll press okay. Now I'm gonna click run once and just try and test the connection. Or sorry, before I do that, I need to add this to a channel or add it to a group. It's slightly different on the make.com side, depending on which one you do. So I'm gonna start with a channel. I'm just gonna call this channel testing make integration. I'm gonna make it a private channel. At the top right, go to view channel info. Go to administrator and click add administrator. Then copy and paste in the bot name to that. Click OK and click save. Now we'll click run once. I will wait for new data. Now I'll type test message and perfect. It showed up fine. Now if that did not work for you, one thing you can try is to go and add a new connection and click add again and then try again. This may be required if you have multiple scenarios that's using the same connection or is using the same webhook. Now next up, what I'm gonna do is every time I get a message, I'm just gonna to respond to that same Telegram chat with a response method just to acknowledge it. This is just a test. So I'm gonna send a test message. The chat ID here is channel post, sender chat, and ID. So let's go to that, all the way to channel post, sender chat, and ID, and text. I'm just gonna type in message received and click okay. Perfect, press run once, I'm gonna type test message again. Now it's responded with message received. Now let's go back here to this sender chat, copy out this ID and what we're gonna do is add in this authorization filter. I've typed in authorized. So if the channel post sender chat and ID is equal to that. So here we're hard coding in the ID from this particular channel. If somebody else adds this bot to another channel, it's gonna get blocked here. I'll press okay. Now I'm gonna select run once. Perfect. So we see what the result of that is. The sender chat was that, so it worked. The data we get from Telegram is slightly different if it's in channels compared to if it's in groups. So now I'm going to create a group within Telegram and then update this scenario to work for a group. I'm now gonna create a group. I'm going to call that testing make integration group. Not being very inventive. I'm gonna to go to view group info, add member. I've searched this bot. I've added in the name of this bot. I'm gonna press add. So I'll press add. I'll press run once, click run once and wait for new data. And now nothing is happening within this bot. And that is because I have not added this bot as an, as an admin for this account. So I'll go to manage group, add administrators and then select that bot then click save and close. Now I'll go again, click run once, and then test five. Perfect, so we got a response. We have message, chat. Now the difference here is that it's a slightly different data structure when you're messaging in a group. You have the data within this message as opposed to within the channel post. So in the authorized filter, instead of sender chat ID, you'll go to message chat ID, and then the chat ID will be that, message chat ID. And then when you're sending a message back to Telegram, you have this message chat ID from there. Okay, we'll just run this so that it now runs immediately as the data arrives. So we're not waiting to press run once every time for this. So, all right, test six. And now we have a response, message received. There may be some shortcomings with the Telegram integration. If you're having issues, such as if you're using the same bot across multiple chats and you wanna trigger multiple scenarios, if you're having issues with that, then just try to create a separate bot and create a new connection within Telegram in your different scenario. If you're having issues with your connection, go to add and then click add again, add in your token that you got from that bot for their chat 
and then try to run the connection again. Now that you have a Telegram bot set up, now you can actually do something with it, such as bring AI into the mix. So check out the link in the description to our AI agent video using make.com and OpenAI assistance. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then check out the link in the description to our community, where you'll get access to all of our automation templates. You'll get instant access to all of these courses with more on the way. You can get support from us via our live workshops and through our active discussion boards.